Ball position is often considered the balance point of the golf swing. So why does it get off so much? It could be the way that you're placing your feet. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how and why. So as I mentioned in the intro, the ball position is often referred to, or at least we do in our schools and in our instruction, as the balance point of the golf swing. Because if you get your ball position correct, the swing seems to flow in balance very easily. And if you modify your ball position by too much, there is a variance where you can put it in to hit different trajectory shots. But if you get it outside of a certain range, you're going to have a hard time hitting uh, consistent shots in the center of the club face that'll make you uh, play better golf. So most golf instructors and and coaches are, agree that the ball position for your stock trajectory and stock shot will be, the ball will be some, somewhere to the target side of the center of your stance as I have indicated here. Now it could be uh, just forward of the center of your stance. Some coaches like that, some like it off the target side ear, some off the logo of the shirt, left side of the face. There's a bunch of different, wherever you like to, to do it, that's gonna be with you and your coach and, and their theory. However, where people go askew is when they get into their foot position. And as many of us are sitting at desk or driving or we're doing a lot of things in a crunch position longer, our hips tend to get tight. And even if we're doing yoga or some type of stretching routine, they don't open up as much as they possibly can. So the advisement by many, myself included, is for the golfer to flare their feet, which will make it easier for their hips to rotate in the swing, allows you to get a greater range of motion bigger, longer swing, all those things that will allow you to hit the ball better. But there, it comes with a little bit of a problem and it has to do with our perception. So as you can see here, I wanna show you the perspective that you're looking down at your ball position from. And what you're seeing is what I just described a few seconds ago, where the ball position is to the target side of the center of my stance, which we like to say you base that position off your heels. And whether it's under the left side of your face, logo on your shirt, left ear, whatever you're gonna go by, that ball is obviously to the target side of the ball. When golfers flare their feet, that can become very skewed because as human beings, and we stand on a day-to-day -day basis, let me show you what I mean by that. Here's our normal standing posture. Our feet tend to be slightly flared, which is perfectly fine and normal. But what we do is we tend to identify things off of our instep. So. If I can show you what I mean by that, is as we look down, we tend to identify where things are based off the instep, which would be right about here for the front foot and right about here for the trail foot. And if I go back into the little station here, get back into my iron stance, my mid iron stance distance right about there. If I were to flare my feet, naturally that ball position is going to look like it comes back in my stance. And as I said, as we identify things based off of our instep. If I can put this stick down, my instep would be more on an angle like that. The tendency is for the ball position to start to creep a little too far forward, which would be right about there. So as you can see, if I were to square my feet back up, that ball position for an iron is way too far forward. But as I look down when my feet are flared, it doesn't look that far forward. So Ideally and optimally, you would like to keep the ball position relative to your heels. So you wanna base your ball position off your heels, which would bring that ball once again back to just to the target side of center. That's gonna allow you to hit much better shots in the direction that you want. So as I just illustrated from your perspective as you're looking down at the ball, I wanted to give you the face on perspective if you have a friend a spouse, a child, or somebody that's helping you as you play. So as we stated earlier, there's about an iron with stance. I have a mid iron, I have my six iron here. The ball is just to the target side of that. That's how I would set up normally. But if I flare my feet again, no problem with that. It helps better body and hip rotation. But as we have a tendency to relate things to our instep, that would be this direction if we played the ball roughly one club head or four inches inside of that and then we looked at that perpendicularly, that would be on the inside of our instep when our feet are flared. So it's very, very important, at least in my opinion, that when you play or you figure out your ball position, you're basing it off the heels because again, if I were to square my feet, 
you'll notice how far forward that ball position has actually crept. A lot of you might not get it that far forward, but as it starts to drift that way, your ball striking and your swing are going to be thrown out of balance. So again, always base your ball position off of your heels, whether your feet are flared, they're perpendicular, or they have a slight flare. It's going to help you hit the ball more consistent and in the direction that you want to. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another one of our videos. If you found this useful and used it in your game, don't forget to click that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our podcast, one of the hottest podcasts in golf, Golf 360. If you'd like to watch another one of our videos or subscribe to our channel, you can do so right over here.